Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Episode 3, Ransom. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As Excellent. I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. We've also heard that Somebody name before. I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Interesting. All right, let's move on. Just follow me. It's not far. Sounds good, Randolph. Thank you. This is Karst. Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome back to Alan Wake Remastered. They finally finished their monologue, so I am able to follow them to Joy's house, which is a little odd that they would just show it to me. I don't think she's even home. This guy's got a hell of a limp. He's also probably going to become a Taken. Everyone I've met so far has become a Taken. Alright, which way, Randolph? I would ask him to uh, walk a little faster, but that might be inconsiderate, so... <laughs> Maybe yeah, not. how about that? Hmm? It was there in the morning, as oh. if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Listen, I'll take this. Things to do. This place don't run itself. I just got an achievement, and I don't know for what. Well, I know it was for coffee, but I don't know for picking up how many. Maybe that's at 10? Hmm. Is that going to be um, open today, Randy? You think we're going to be able to buy some uh, some of your dogs? Oh, we're just going through the back door? But I only just met you, Randall. <laughs> okay. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Who's they? Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. And that's the lady who's been turning the lights off, yeah. that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway. I see a coffee in she there. She knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Are we going in here? Are you implying Joy lives in there? We found Joy's house. Turns out it's a dumpster. Nope. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this one because I can see the coffee inside already, so thanks for the tour, Randolph. U.S. mail, yep. Wanna let me in, or...? Nope. Oh, there he goes! Welcome to... Oh. To... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey! This is really good! This seems Rose, totally normal and not yes. creepy. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Oh, was... they're being drugged. Oh. Wonderful. Barry! What? What? Great. Thanks for that, Joy. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. Seems you good. must turn the lights on. Okay. Well, if they're... If they're ask oh dear. If they're asking me to turn the light on, she might actually be helpful, right? <laughs> oh, this is her room. She's got a lot of pictures of me. But yeah, if they're asking me to turn the light on, they might not be totally evil. Anger kept me going. Because we know the darkness is the bad stuff. Reality from dream anymore. Yikes. But it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jacker. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Why do I feel like I've heard that line before? Alice hmm. this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Wonderful. Slightly creepy idol room. Mm hmm. Lots of my Alan Wake books and various other books. Just lots of photos of Alan Wake. Alrighty then. Believe in change. Oh, hey, bud. You're still here. took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. You don't want to talk to her, see if Welcome she's okay? Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me, and left its mark. First uh. we fill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. I hope there's a way for her to recover or something. It would be a shame if it lasted forever. But at any rate, we have to get Barry he out of here, out but... Of he was way too heavy to carry. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's a bit of a big guy. I have no idea how I'm supposed right. to get him out of here and into the car. More money. I'm so handsome. Right, Barry. Okay. Keep dreaming, buddy. Let's see what's out here My then. Gun uh oh. And flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Uh, Randolph, Randolph calls the police. Like Rose, that little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh, great. Well, 
we're under investigation again. Wonderful, wonderful. Hmm. It's not like I can break into people's homes, so... Is that thumping music I hear? Hello. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. That he does. Yeah. Something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, mm -hmm. they let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man. And there's something in the air tonight, man. Uh, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower, thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, Walt, uh, maybe... No, thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? Apparently so. Oh, and then creepy music immediately. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm heading back out to the car or something. How am I going to get him... Where's our car? How am I going to get him out into the car? Uh-oh. That does not seem good. Oh, hey, it's... Okay, fine, it's Randolph. And the cops. Uh-huh. What did I do, precisely? Hello? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI! Get him up, Hemingway! You're under arrest! You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face! Stay right where you are, Slane! Oh dear, did he shoot the... Okay, good, he didn't shoot the civilian. Yikes! Ow. What are... I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! Yeah, he's got a point. So why shoot so blindly at him? I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Escape the police. Wonderful. Nope, not happening. Okay, he's tired, he's tired, he's tired. Run again. <laughs> well, that doesn't seem good. Okay. Helicopter coming in on me? Yep. I'm surprised they haven't unleashed the dogs on me yet. I feel like that's like one of the first things they would do. No, you didn't see me. Go away. No, you don't. Stop looking. Uh. Damn. Flares. Oh, wow. Why are you shooting immediately? I clearly have no weapons. You don't have to shoot at me. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Apparently, Mr. Wake is now a wanted fugitive. That's unfortunate. Ow. 
Come on, guys. We need to head him off. You're right. I'm super gone. Thank you. Which one is this? For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Hmm. I see. Okay, so I woke up because I was here and I'm a creator. Let's get going. Okay, now it's going into the weird... It's going into the other world again. But I have no flashlight and I have no guns. Oh. Not good. Maybe I can find a... That's a manuscript over there, though. I want that. Thank you. I kinda wish I heard what was on the radio, though. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Mm hmm Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to keep running. Um, okay, they're pulling rank on each other. I'm not armed! Okay, fine. Well, they don't know that. But to be fair, I've also not shot any of their officers either, so... Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, a flare. Okay, that's fine. Police are down there. Got it. Mm -hmm. Sure wish I had a flashlight right around now. Would be nice. I kind of doubt I'll be allowed to shoot at the police in this game. I just find it unlikely... That does not seem good. Yeah, that does not seem good. Alright, well, sorry guys. It's not my fault. Alan Wake had no, no hand in that. How the heck did this get up here? This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. He's right. Okay, well, just just keep running. Only one way forward. Anything back here? Nope. Okay. No mysterious coffee thermoses lying around? That helicopter's gonna go down on top of me, isn't it? Can I go through here? Oh, it's good that I came in here then. Uh-oh. So it's telling me to hide, yes? Uh... Oh, the birds. Okay, I'm just gonna keep running then. Oh dear. Well, there it goes. Oof. I'm not good. Okay, well, uh, firewatch cabin, I guess? Maybe I'll find some supplies in there. Definitely noticing a pattern in which everything I have before 
leaves me when I get to a new chapter. I'll use that. This is to zoom. Okay. Uh, that is that the gas station from earlier in the game, or hmm. Well, I don't see if there's a purpose to that. Let me in. Oh yeah, this is definitely a Firewatch cabin. Thank you. I hear that's a good game actually, but I don't think I'll be playing it. Uh, this is Jane Mulligan Thornton. Come in, over. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why they were? Hey, what are you doing? Come on. Sit down and give me that. Jane Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both of them. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler. Over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Out. Okay. That did not actually give me anything. Maybe I can look through this. I, I see the lights at the radio station. Yeah, I'm like, I assume I'm going there at some point. What's that? Oh, that radio station. I thought I was I have a feeling I'm probably gonna make it up there at some point. I assume that's my next uh target. Uh I've not given much to work with here. Looks like it. This door was not open earlier, was it? I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Mm -hmm. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Oh, I'm going to go visit him while I'm wanted by the police. This seems like a bad idea. Uh. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Okay, fine. Be that way. I'm sure I'll find one up here. Thermos! Oh, that light. That'll do. Good thing nothing's attacking me now with no flashlight and no weapon. How convenient. Destroy the gate. Yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. Very clearly this is the thing to do, but... I'm surprised there's nothing else up here but the objective. There was no power to the searchlight. Oh, okay. I mean, I can still roll it down the hill, right? No power to the searchlight. Sure, I'll follow the cable then. Back here, isn't it? No? Oh, there it is. Oh, I saw it. I just didn't I just didn't realize what it was. Okay. Two. I don't like the sparks. I'm not enjoying the sparks. But if it gets power, that's all I can hope for. Yep. This way. Ah! Oh, the gate literally disappeared. Okay. Fair enough. I noticed the searchlight uh, powered off now, so that's done and out of the way. I no longer have protection. Time to keep moving. Don't like that sound. Okay, so this is basically how this game... What? What do you want me to do? What can I do? Okay, I'll pick it up. Thank you. Still have no gun, though. Is this shooting a wind? What the hell? Like, some sort of force field. Okay. Alright. A little weird, but sure. Why not? I'll take that thermos. Hopefully a gun, too. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang things. They were oh. an ideal weapon for my situation. Flashbang grenades. Ooh. I thought I saw a thermos, but I must have mis misunderstood this. Come on, guys, talk to me. Come in, please. Over. 
I'm clearly going to get jumped, and I'm going to need the flashbang. Hello? Oh, they're police. Aya. Nice. Time to start looking for treasure again, now that I have a flashlight. Why do you have to do this to me? There's only one right now. I can deal with one. Okay, there's more than one. Hiya! Nope. Um, as long as I can get to the light, I'll be okay. I see the manuscript over there. Hello? Well, the police are after me. Just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you well, yes, that's the what they're for. Alright. I assume they're not actually going to call back, so... Off we go. I'm going to grab that. Uh... Great, 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 great. Hello. Down here. Nice. Down in Fury, apparently, whatever that is. Sure wish there were descriptions, but whatever. Touched by the Dark Presence. Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Yeah, I would be too. No control over her own body. Wonderful. Possession. Okay, I'm going to assume running into the woods here will probably yield me some treasure. I'm probably going to get attacked for it as well. Oh, hello. Yep. Nothing here, huh? Color me surprised. Maybe over here? Oh yeah, there's something here. Hello. What's this for? I don't know what that says. I also don't know what I did this for. Trust no one in the dark. Okay, thank you for that. Reassuring. Reassuring words. So the only gun I have right now is the flare gun and then I've got the flashbangs. <laughs> Wonderful. What does that power anyway? Just this light? Is that all it was for? Okay. More police. I'm not even sure if I should head towards them right now. They're still looking for me, right? Uh-oh. Ow. Although this police cruiser is probably destroyed, yeah. You know... I feel like I should be able to find at least a pistol or something, right? Oh boy. Yeah, I know you're there. I know you're there. How many though? Only two? Ow! Ow! Stop that. Ow! Okay, I should drop this. <laughs> okay. Um, turns out I was mistiming that. Very, very poorly. On the bright side, I'm not that far back. So I can just go this way and skip the police car because it turns out there was nothing there. Maybe I can even go from this way. Hello. 
Okay, I hope that was enough. No one's still following me? Good. Is that a fire or... Oh no, that's just a billboard. Hello. I'm at the radio station. Okay, it was not nearly as far away as I thought it would be. That's good. I'm glad I'm here. Oh, hello. Hello, big guy. Well, that really wasn't that bad. Um, can I go through this? Oh, yes. Okay, awesome. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. What do you mean? It's a trailer park. Of course you're going to have trouble in a place like that. I mean, what do you expect? Uh. The sheriff should be helping us normal citizens instead of wasting resources on those people. Well... Let the trash sort themselves out. I'm sorry, but my granddaddy settled in Bright Falls in 1911. Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate, compassionate viewpoint. Order. Yeah. Okay, talk to Pat Main. He's in there. For now, he's alive. For now, probably will change. Now that I'm here, definitely gonna change. Hello, buddy. Wanted, uh, wanted criminal. Entering your sto um, your radio station. The night owl, voice of Pat Main, all night, every night. Cannot enter these doors. Oh god, he's saying that to the police. All the police know I'm here now. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Wow, they caught up real fast. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Whoa! What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Why is that guy so hell bent on killing Alan Wake? Maybe he's possessed by the darkness too. I don't know. Well, I guess I'm uh, immediately gonna run. Well. I had fallen off so many cliffs; it was yeah. ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was Fair. probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Ooh, give me those. Uh, let's read that manuscript page. Here you go. Gale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Yeah. Maybe he's just a prick. Because he keeps yelling like, Oh, you know, H.P. Lovecraft. They're going to call me Stephen King at some point. Like various writers. Oh, boy. Hiya! Ow! Would like a gun. You're still alive. Not good. Ow! Back off. He's not gonna back off. Okay, but I still have no gun. That's not really gonna do anything to him unless I can punch him out. And something tells me I can't just punch him out. But I don't really want to waste a flare on him, either. Oh, did he leave me alone? No, he's still coming. Where am I going? Why am I doing this? Maybe there's a lot more exploration that could be had that I've not been doing. That would be my own fault. But it's not very clear that you can do that. Uh. 
Can you just spawn some more enemies so I can justify shooting a flare or throwing a flashbang? Please? I'm also really hoping that I'm going up this way and not only for one coffee thermos. I'm really hoping there's like a treasure or something. There has to be a reason I'm allowed to climb the cliff, right? Oh, this is the radio tower. I assume. Go away, sir. I'm not interested in your services today. Oh, yeah. I made my way up here in the end, but there's not going to be a quick way back down. It's just going to be... It's just going to be a very, very long walk down the hill. Back off. How is this... Like, obviously this is not going to get me to the train depot, but come on. Did I come all this way for one manu manuscript page? Danny had stepped out, but what stumbled back in was something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter tried to kill it. First with his fists, then a chair. It wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming, unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, fear took over. He ran, got behind the wheel, gunned the engine. The booze wouldn't make him forget, but he knew he had to try. Is this the guy who was in the prison or the guy who called in? I think it was the guy who called in uh, on the radio. Okay, so I came all this way. Literally for the manuscript page, apparently. So that kind of seems not worth my time, but it is what it is. Alright, I guess I'm just going to run all the way back down. So awkward. I'm just like slowly running down the hill out of breath with some dude chasing me with an axe. Oh, birds. Birds are bad. No. Okay, well this justifies it. Did I get the birds? It sorta did. Whoa! Okay. I think we're clear now, though. I guess it makes sense that the birds would be um, available as enemies out here. I'm out of flashbangs, though, almost. I still have flares. Maybe I should just use those. But this doesn't really do anything for me. This just keeps them away. That's not going to keep me... It's not going to kill off the enemies. So I only have the two shots from the flare gun left. Back away. Ow. Ow. That is effective against the birds, though. So there's that going for me. Come on. There you go. Okay. Getting attacked by wildlife today. Lots of fun. I'm still only hearing more. Okay, they're leaving. Good. That accomplished nothing for me. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, hello. Go away! Leave me alone! That will not kill them. There was no sensible reason for the power company yeah. work lights to be here. Mm -hmm. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Yep. I need this guy to get it closer though, so I can kill both of you. Dodge. Okay, right here. Ow! Okay. Ah, uh, gun, finally. Okay. Um. Well, they're here. The darkness controls the Taken. Yes, we kind of figured that out. I'll take that as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good to have options. Uh, oh, some AoE is probably good. Here, right here. Very good. 
And you can screw off. Oh. Mmm. I could flare gun this, actually. Is it worth it? It might be. No, 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 I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. Hey there. Ow. Ow. Okay. Not the best. Not the best. But a win is a win. Can I get up here? Is there anything up here? No, I don't think so. But there's something to pick up over there. Ow, really? That little drop? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I think I saw something flash over here as well. Yeah, okay. And something up there. Intriguing. Okay, so I should go up there to explore and look for treasure. But, let me see what's over here first. Oh no, this is the way out, isn't it? This is the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, it's just the thermos. Thank you. Okay, let me check up the trail. At least I have weaponry again. Oh, it's just a... Okay. I thought that was actually a spotlight, but no, it's another manuscript page. Sure, why not? Can I go through this? No. All right. Um, here. Oh, dear. Roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm about to get attacked by machinery. Good. That's what we wanted today. Um, slowly wander back. So I was just there, and apparently, at least according to the minimap, I'm going this way. Are there enemies sneaking up behind me or something? I thought I saw an arrow for a moment. Okay. Keep moving. Oh, hello. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an ass. Correct. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Okay. Of course. Let's go. I mean, we got that feeling from him, too. So, it's not just her. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Moving on. Hello. Moshi Moshi. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection mm. had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow. But she had called me. Of course she sounded wrong. When have the people here sounded right since we arrived here? The pipe wrenched itself loose oh, from no. the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Oops. I keep hitting the wrong button to go back out of the uh, out of the menu. Uh, looks like there might be treasure down here. There's some sort of shack. Yep, treasure. Hmm. Up there somewhere? Oh, just in here. It seems like a trap, though. Every time I see arrows like that, I'm like... I mean... 
It might not be, but... I really don't like the extra breathing sounds. I know they're there to just make it a little creepier, and I will say it works. Uh-oh. Hello. Uh, ow! Okay. None of that today, please. Nice. Okay. Moving on. Don't look back. Just go. Apparently a pipe is going to wrench itself at my head. Somewhere up ahead. So I should probably be careful. I could see a railway bridge up ahead. Yep. And a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hope Over there? I find a car yeah. from there. That might be useful actually, yes. Stop breathing at me, please. Whoever it is. I would appreciate it if you didn't. Okay, I think it's uh, wrench time. Oh, no, no, no. It's a uh, it's train. Okay, not great. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. I'm just going to keep looping. Serpentine. Oh, this is the wrench part, yes. The pipe. Not good. Ow! Ow! I'm stuck. Ow. And I'm dead. Okay, well, that was unfortunate. the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Maybe don't get caught in a corner. I should try doing that. Okay. It's a nice view out there. If only I could be there and not here getting attacked by um, equipment. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. Mm -hmm. And it was taking over everything in its path. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. I'm stuck again. Oh, it closes up behind me. Well, I'm relatively protected back here. Ow. Ow. I say that. I actually don't know how I'm supposed to dodge all this. I really don't. Am I supposed to just run? Ow. Some sort on the opposite. Okay, shore. well then. I hoped I could find a car from there. I guess I could throw a flashbang. What am I doing? Or a flare gun. Of course. Because the the flash light is doing too little the darkness that was to all the pipes and stuff, so. Stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. So I should just fire fire the flare. Okay. What's coming at me? Nice, nice. Okay, nice. Not so bad. Just one item. I can deal with that. No, none of that, please, sir. Uh oh. Okay. I think we're good. Whoa, we're not good. Ow. Now we're good. We're not good. A wheelbarrow? Ow! How am I supposed to dodge this? Well then, I never thought I would have so much difficulty with uh, 
construction equipment, but who would have guessed? I guess I could blow that up, but that might not be a good idea. What other clues of my future do you hold? Hello. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Great. That's not good. Not good. Time to go. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. Of course. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. Yep. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Yeah, that's not good. You're literally not safe from, like, normal inanimate objects. Like, those things can explode when they throw them at me. And that is going to happen, and you know it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Let me just stock up before anything else goes bad. I'll probably need it. Okay. Actually, a flare could be helpful, too, against those types of objects. Alright, you're gonna throw stuff at me, right? Oh, hi. Well, it's not that bad. No, I did not. I did not. Leave me alone. Ow! Okay, that didn't help against this guy. Nice. Nope, none of that today, sir. Have you considered a shotgun blast? That really wasn't that bad. Find a vehicle. Checkpoint reached. Okay. Oh, hi. I mean, there's just... Oh, there's not just one of you. Back off. Back off. Uh-oh. Back off. Okay. That's okay. Moving on. Anyone else? No? Just someone hiding behind a, uh... I don't even know what to call that. A shelf, I guess. In light, you can hurt them. Yes, I know. Can I get this door? No. Alright. Uh, I'm stuck? Okay. Anyone else hiding up here? No? Not this time? Fine. I'll take those. And that. Okay. Hello. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Hmm. So, I guess the kidnapper is going to be heavily involved again. This seems like a boss fight area. Oh, this is going to be the bulldozer area, isn't it? Why are you giving... Yep, bulldozer. Actual boss bulldozer. Hello. Ow. Very painful. Not good. Whoa. I mean, I guess I can do damage to it. Whoa. Okay, well, that, that actually helped me more than anything else. Go away. Uh. Nope. Whoa, move it. Move it or lose it. Ow. Okay. Ow. Ow. Stop, please. Ow. Okay, so it turns out I never reloaded my flare gun like an idiot. So maybe I should just do that now. There you go. Hopefully I'll do better this time. Okay, uh, I'm gonna run and drop the flare. 
This should do a lot of damage to it, in theory. Uh, oh boy. Ow! Okay. Almost clear. It's clear. It's gone. Okay, good. And you can screw off. Alright. I'll just, uh, quickly supply myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm... Oh, really? I'm full on revolver ammo. I wish there was a way to upgrade my capacity. If only. Can I climb up where the, um... Where the boulders are came from? I wonder. That The answer is no. I am not allowed to climb this very small ledge. Fair enough. Out I go. Boop. I'm full on that as well. Time to get in a car and dip. Maybe, yeah, look for a thermos first. I had a feeling there would be one around here. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to check the building as well, if I can enter. The answer is no. Alright, time to get in. never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. Today, Welcome to Bright Falls. Coal mine. I wouldn't mm -hmm. give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Yeah, but now I'm kind of like, okay, you opened up this, this path, back down. Has to be a reason for me to come this way, or otherwise you would close it off. I'm gonna run down the path. It's daylight. Nothing's gonna attack me. Broken bridge, Even of course. Daytime, Classic. I was being stalked. Mm -hmm. The bridge must have collapsed only moments after I'd crossed it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. No, nothing to get from there. The walk of shame back with nothing to show for it. I guess it's. I mean, I was gonna say it's. I guess it's better than just the thermos. No, I ended up with nothing. At least with the thermos, I can drink the coffee in it. The hell of a long walk. Can I not just get back into the gun and drive forward? I can. Yeah, okay, so why did I get out? Why did Alan Wake get out? Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. It is, very clearly. Had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Oh, I started to believe it's real. Well, yeah. Things are happening exactly as the manuscript describes. <laughs> like, without any error. I really don't know how much exploring I should be doing in these, um, in these car sections. Like, it always feels like I'm not doing enough. Okay, I'm gonna get out and look in the shack. And it's not, like, immediately obvious where is explorable and where isn't. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning <laughs> you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see... I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger. Mm -hmm. He was a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now because 
Some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. True. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. It's funny, because he's the overnight radio caster, and yet he's like, Oh yeah, let me just talk all morning as well. Does this guy ever go to bed? <laughs> ever go to sleep? Hmm. Alright. Does not seem good. I think I'm going the wrong way, actually. I doubled back. Whoopsie. I mean, it's still a nice view from here, but everything is trying to kill me right now. So I can't really stop and appreciate it. Hill. Yes, I know. Thank you. I'll just stay very close to this side so I don't fall down the hill. Thank you. Are we there yet? That's not a coal mine. This is another Firewatch cabin. But I'll explore it. Why not? I don't think I'm going to find any loot, though, because it's it's light. It's daytime. And it doesn't explain how I lost all my weapons again. Because I didn't get detained this time, but whatever. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish, even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but mm -hmm. I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. That's fair. Shaking a few things loose for me, too. Uh, I don't think there's anything else up here, though. So I'm just really going up here for the radio shows. Which is fine. It's not a problem. It's just... I wish I could just play this on... Ow. On the radio in the car. So I could listen to it as I drove. Instead of, you know, getting out, climbing up, you know, set of stairs, expl exploring only to hear a radio. It's a little odd. Oh, whoa, 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 whoops. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Is this the coal mine? That's probably the coal mine. Yeah, okay. So let me see what's down this hall. The hall. Uh, down the road. I'm surprised to not see any wildlife. You'd imagine you'd see deer, birds. Bright, hall, Bright Falls coal mine, that was right. Um, you'd imagine you'd see a lot of those, right? At least deer. Uh, I kind of want to go back up there now because there's a building. So, awkwardly, I'm going to run back up. Because if it actually opens up, I would like to see what's up there. And if it just has a stairwell back down, then I may as well... I may as well take it, you know? Yeah, there's definitely something to see inside. Got it. I don't want to miss much. I know I've missed a lot already because I haven't explored as thoroughly as I like, but... 
you know. Okay, I definitely don't want to go in. What was that? I thought I saw something pop up. Okay. Maybe something on top of the uh, on top of the tower here. Stuck on the stairs, of course, of course. Alright, what have I got up here? Manuscript page. Of course. I'm missing a lot of pages still, though. There's a lot to go. Vermont. Spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special. But Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight. But it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Hmm. Who's Mott? Is that the stalker? Ah, I'm back here now. Wonderful. Great. So let's just pretend that didn't happen. Uh, and I'm just gonna come back down after recollecting that manuscript page. Alright. No mishaps happened here today, folks. Nothing at all. Kind of want to see if I can get in there, but don't think I can. Oh no, that would be death. All right, let me take the um, take the truck back down and then actually explore the coal mine as intended. This way, and without driving into a fence this time, because that was uh, pretty rough, at least for the truck. Okay. Ah, okay. What did I just say about driving into a fence? Visitor parking. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Perfect. Now everyone else can park nicely beside me. I feel like I'm on a bit of an angle, but I just followed the angle of the, uh, of the block. So, I'm parking considerately. No one can be mad. I see that coffee. I will take that coffee. Thank you. Okay, so it's just a museum now. It's not actually in use. While there were some earlier residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls began with the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked the mines. Sure. Oh. While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich but hard to get at, and the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. I like museums. I like seeing this type of thing. Cool. So that would have been the equipment they would have used. Coal mine museum, museum entrance. Hello, manuscript page. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. No. Yeah. He's probably just wanting to become famous or something, assuming he's not been possessed. You know. Oh, he's the cop who caught the famous writer. In 1970, a volcanic, a volcanic, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all the mining around the Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now, many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. Fair enough. I kind of want to see more of this, actually. This is daytime, so I should be safe, right? Oh. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. Am I just going to wait until dark? The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Yeah, yeah. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. <laughs> Well, as far as you know, you received a phone call recently. Home. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Oh.
Okay, well, we waited till dark, and now we're in danger again. Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? Okay. I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! Ah! Okay, but can I open the door? I can have I... to get to Mirror Peak. Okay, but can I leave this area, please? This is not the... Maybe closer than ever before. Fascinating. Can I open the door now? No, I'm still trapped. Do I just jump over and down? I guess so. Fascinating. Oh. Well, the good news is I got all my weaponry back. So there's that going for me. Still out of flare guns, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, lovely, a trap door. Hmm. Is this going to lead me into the mine? Oh, no, it just gets me out. What is that? Manuscript page? Oh, I'm out in the in the yard. Got it. This is going to fall over. And that's a lot of ammo, so that's gonna about to be a boss fight. Yes, there's a reason they're giving me that much stuff. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Moving on. Revolver ammo. Yeah, I have a ton of that. Those will explode, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know if it'll give me light. Let's see. Okay, it does kill him. Nope. No, dodge, please. Move. Okay. Nice. Good. Something else? Oh. Why did I shoot at it? That's fine. I can hide behind the... Oh. I can hide behind the, uh, the signs. I'm okay. Alright. Let me just go grab the ammo again. Thank you. Thank you. That wasn't too bad. So now I know how those um, gas canisters work. Which will help keep me alive and... Res and, uh... What's it? Reduce my need for special ammo. Oh, hi. Anyone behind me? No. Oh, it trapped me in here. Fine. Okay, not that way. What? Something's inside there, but that's fine. That's not gonna... That can't actually reach me or anything, so... I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah, I know it's in there, but it can't hit me from inside. I don't know if climbing it right now is a good idea, but sure. Okay. Am I running and jump- oh, whoops. I'm like, am I running and jumping? I'm glad that it's not taking control of the train cars. That would be bad. That would be very bad. 
Okay. Ow, ow. Not what I wanted. I guess I could sh Oh no, I was gonna say, I guess I could shoot a flare down there, but no, I don't think so. I mean, get over here, guys. Actually, can't I just drop a flare? Yeah, that'll do it. Whoa. Ow. That's fine. That's fine, I can accept that. Nothing else in here, moving on. Uh, what the hell? What the hell is that? A tornado of darkness? Sounds like the nice title for your next book, Alan Wake. Uh, electrical lines. A car you can drive. Good, good. I cannot the climb that. The hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Oh, well, you know. You could just end it all. I guess I'm going to have to go through to the light. Clearly. Hello? I can run through all of you. Who else? Hiya! Nice. Getting these sharp turns in, kind of annoying, but doable. Okay, there's just one more now. He's running fast, though. Nice. Hello, bud. Good. I assume this is a power generation area? They're gonna ammo. Ooh, nice. This is gonna be less nice, I think. Okay. Okay. Get in the car. I feel safer in the car. That's a big... That's a big thing to be throwing around. But I feel safer in the car, yes. I can deal with that. Oh, there's another one. The hilarious thing is, this is so slow that... It doesn't matter. Is there another one? Oh dear, there is. Ow. That's fine. There's a lot of people, but I can run through all of you. I can run all of you over, it's not so bad. Move it, move it. Okay. Okay, run through these two. Ow. Not good, but it's fine. Okay, only one left. But he's still he's still in the shadow, so I can't hurt him yet. Oh, and there's that little guy. Okay, you're still alive. Ow! Oh, I guess the car's done. Ow! Okay. I didn't even see him. But it's okay, we're clear. Moving on. What am I gonna find in here? Hello? Any shadow people want me? It's so nice to feel wanted and needed. Maybe not by shadow people, though. Gimme, give gimme, give thank you. All right, uh, where am I going? I hear footsteps, which is not stellar. Okay. Oh, hi. Here's my lunchbox. 
Reload, and then we're good. Uh, wonderful. I'll take that too. Or not, I'm already capped. Hello there. Okay, there's a reason that this stuff is here. Oh, hi. That's why. Very nice. Trust no one in the dark. Yes, I've, I've read about that, actually. I know. Uh, am I climbing this? No. Hmm. Oh, there's a ladder. Fair enough. I will happily take that. And the one... One bright area of the cabin here. Uh, I don't know what's illuminating this, though. What's making this so so bright? Nothing. I see no light source, but sure, why not? Oh, follow your movement. But I think that's intentional, just to screw you up. Uh oh. Some of the taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence, but for anything more elaborate. As with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Okay. So I'm about to get caught by the darkness, which is wonderful. That's what we like. That's what we want to see. Or hear. Um, I'm guessing this is where I'm supposed to go, but I'm going to go through. Uh. Oh! Oh! Wonderful. I thought it was about to throw the whole tree at me for a moment. Okay. Time to go. I already have full ammo. Actually, no, I think... Not good. And no cars that function, so... There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. No. So they're giving it to me for a reason, clearly. I'm supposed to go this way, so I'm going to go this way and see what's back here. Probably a thermos, maybe a manuscript page, maybe treasure. It's usually going to be one of those three. Or maybe a radio. So one of those four. Nope, nothing. I thought I saw a shadow over there for a moment, but nope. Just my eyes playing tricks. Oh. Ow! What? What just hit me? Someone around here? Is it because I stepped onto the darkness? Or did someone shoot me? What the hell was that? Oh, I stepped on this, didn't I? I assume that's what happened. Okay. Oh, hi. Do I really need the flashbangs for that, though? But then again, the wise man states all of your stuff goes away at the end of the level, so I may as well do it. I may as well use the resources given to me. Oh, hi. Hi. Ow! Ow! Go away! Thank you. Manuscript! Um, here. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. 
Who even is Raymond Chandler? I do not remember if we've heard that name before. But that's okay. I see that thermos up there. I see that thermos. I'm going up there, aren't I? Yep. And there's a treasure this way, too. Huh. I guess that must be where the treasure is. But let me grab that thermos first. Oh, I'm supposed to go down there. Okay, so that's the actual story element in that direction. Maybe don't fall to my death again. Please. Please give me that. Please. Okay. The random parkouring! Ow. Okay, well, fell anyway, but didn't die, so thank goodness for that. Alright, I want that loot. It might not be worth it, but I want that loot. Oh, it's just right here. I guess I'm not going up. Uh. This is not the chest. Oh. How did I not see that? It's just so dark, I guess. Alright, time to go. Whoa! That's- Ow! Okay, dodge into it. That's fine. Dodge. Drop this. Ow! That's a heavy swing, guy. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, what a waste. Well, that sucked. Wasted my flare gun shot. Oh well, it happens. Because it automatically switches your weapon once you pick one up. And I forgot again. Ooh, look at all that loot, though. Is that the hunting rifle stuff? Or a shotgun? Or both? I'll take both. Shotgun ammo. Okay, that's fine. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, Pump I'd action. Him gunpoint and make him talk. Sure, I, I just walked to a pun- uh, uh, sorry. A pump action. I don't know what the difference is. I guess that's the lookout, so I should go this way. No, actually. Why does it keep changing? The map keeps changing. Oh, hi. Whoa! Drop it. Ow. Ow. Not stellar. I guess technically I could have taken either side. What? Okay, I'm... I should probably dip! Dip! Alright, let's go back to the light. Ow! Turn it on. I think this does less damage, but it doesn't need to reload as much. I think that's what it is. Good to know, though. And I should keep the flare on in case I need it. I might need it. Or I could be lazy. I, I kind of want to be lazy. Fire! Very nice. Keep moving. Uh, how many are we talking here? Okay, a fair number, but that's not terrible. That's okay. Honestly, it's not bad. Wow, oh, that's bad though. Stop. Okay, big guy. Ow, heavy swing. Ow, okay, fine. Fine. I guess I shouldn't have done it that way. I'm gonna go from the left this time because I've already seen what's on the right and it turns out it was not much. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, Thank you. I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Mm hmm. So this is basically just a gauntlet. Got it. 
I was trying to be too creative, saving my, uh, my stuff. Okay. Okay. There is something on this side. Hello, Thermos. No. Nope. That'll do. What did it say open for? Oh. There's nothing in there, though. Alright. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I'll take all of this. It's actually all useful. Thank you. Whoa! Nope. How are you still alive, sir? Okay. I think we're almost there, it's just, it's just up there. Well, to be fair, I nearly made it last time, too. I just didn't drop the, uh, the flashbangs I should have dropped. Because I'm too greedy to use my tools. Alright. Maybe I should wait until my energy comes back? Although, to be fair, I'm just gonna drop a flashbang and be done with it, so... Come on. Okay. Hiya. Huh. How? How? Okay. Time to go. What? Yeah, that seems good. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A of cold course. feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? That's actually a good question. Also, why are there so many? Why am I in a graveyard? Okay, who are you supposed to be? Are you a special guy or what? Actually, you know what? Screw this. Ow. Pow, pow, pow. I don't think that guy was anything significant. He was just some guy. Of course, they put in a pretty funny... Well, I don't know if it was funny, but, you know, a pun about the graveyard. I have to appreciate that, right? Thank you. Oh, every time I run into a light, it counts as a checkpoint? That's new information. That's about to attack me. No? Hmm... The place was dead, a ghost town. Yes. It's been for decades, maybe a century. Correct. Like actual graveyards. Whoa, what? What is that? Uh. Okay, stuff just attacking me. The car is gonna swing itself at me. Great. Okay. Well, I survived a car flying at me. I guess I should be able to survive most, uh, other things, I guess. Wake and Casey. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now... I was angry at myself, angry at Alice, angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Mm-hmm. Of course. All right. What's up? 
ahead, I mean. Oh boy. Something else is clearly gonna fly at me. I wanna go up there. I actually think that... No, it's not the intended goal. Okay. So, explore, explore the buildings. I see the thermos. Can I get in here? Can I actually get in this? Hello. Grey Peak Gorge. Originally founded in 1928, the Grey Peak Gorge mining, ta mining Town was one of the permanent settlements the Bright Fall Mining Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers of the miners faced on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives over the years here were buried there. A grim reminder to be careful for those who remained. Grey Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when the Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. Okay, so I don't think I can actually get into this building. No, I don't think so. Alright. I can probably get in this, though. And there's another building here with a thermos. Thank you. Actually, I might not be able to get in this. No, it doesn't look like I can. Okay. Fair enough. Thermos, please. Yep. It kind of feels like we're approaching daylight, but that just might be because of the fog. I'm just getting hopeful. And uh, checkpoint. Uh. Okay. Is that a refrigerator? You know what? Screw this. Hiya. I'll deal with one of them. Okay. Something else? Seriously? Oh, that's a few other things. Uh, that worked out a lot better than I thought it would. How many shots do I have of this? Uh, four. Okay, I can work with that. Oh, don't fall to my death, please. That would be so bad. Alright. Um, I guess I have to run around or climb this? Or open the door? No? Okay, what am I doing here? I guess I can go around. Yeah, okay. This is a tra It's a train! I don't know how I'm gonna survive this, though. Yikes. You know what? Screw this. Okay. I can deal with that, because it's trapped. More or less. I actually don't do damage to it unless I focus. There we go. Was not expecting the train parts to come alive and attack me, but here we are. Anything? What was that? A car key? Or just a key of some sort? Thank you. Maybe this will just let me into the building. This one here. Yeah. Okay. Not much of a puzzle when the key is like literally right next to it, but sure. Thank you. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Hmm. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake, Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. 
So I guess Thomas Zane, is he a writer or is he like real in this reality or is it just the, um, oh, I can only have one or the other. I mean, I'll take the hunting rifle. Um, or like, is this story, is it, does he exist in the real world, but not in this universe? Like in this world that we're playing in? Is that why he's supposedly a famous writer, but we just don't know about him or what? Or like, we've never found his works. It's the same thing in Control, too. They were like, oh yeah, he's a writer or, or an actor or something like that. Hmm. A mystery that we will hopefully solve another time. Okay, treasure's this way. Who's calling me? The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Of course. Thank you. I'm kind of expecting there to be some, like, amazing mind-bending mind reason for the additional breathing that you hear whenever you find a treasure. Like, I assume there's going to be an explanation for that or something that's going to be, like, revolutionary or change the way I see the game. Oh boy. Birds. That's fine, I can drop a flare. Actually, that might not even be necessary. That's almost done. You coming back or what? I don't really want to get attacked while I'm crossing the bridge. Alright, fine. That does not seem good. Nice. Ow. That's nice. Go away, birds. Okay. I think we're clear. I choose to believe we're clear. Uh, alright, down I go. Oh! Uh, wonderful. Now we're in the mines. We can literally get trapped down here and just die, which would be a, a terrible end to the story, but a realistic one. Thank goodness this is a video game where there's actually an exit and you know there's an exit. Because if I was in this situation, I would start freaking out a little bit, I think. Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. Okay. Thanks for whispering my name creepily into my ear. Thank you. Where is this going? Deeper. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. What the hell? I'm kind of getting the feeling I'm supposed to come down here, and now I want to go back up. Because I didn't actually explore the rest of that cave. Or that cavern. Oh, there's treasure. Oh no, it's not treasure. Okay. Hmm. I'm only mildly lost, it's okay. There's a manuscript page, but I can't get back up here if I jump down, can I? So I don't really want to go down there either. Uh, I wish I had a map. Alright, just jump down there. That's the way back out. Nightingale in the Majestic. Behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel. Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. All right. Uh, can I get back up, please? I want to go through the cave. No, let me restart the checkpoint. 
just because I don't I don't want to miss out. So let me go back down the side cave, go through the headache again. Have someone whisper my name in my ear again. Yes, yes. I'm on my way. This seems like a bad idea, actually. This seems like it's uh, luring me to my death. It's like a wisp in the forest. The headache stabbed at my brain. So the animation for him dropping to his knees is kind of missing, apparently. But because that's twice now that it did not play. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Manuscript. Uh, Hunters Taken. The Hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the Dark Presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Uh, are you gonna comment on- Okay. I gotta get out of here. Yes, you do. Alright, so that was all that was. That was down here, I mean. Okay. Fine. Time to get out of the mine. In the really slow running... In a really, really slow running manner. Come on. Come on. Keep running, Mr. Wake. I know you can do it. You'll regain stamina eventually. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. After picking up the flares, thank you. I'm just sitting on 19 flares because I never use these things. I've already listened to this, so I'm good. Anything around the corner? No? No? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Uh, I know there's loot- Well, that doesn't seem good. Hello there! I mean... Whoa! Ow! Rude. I should move away before the big guy comes in. I'm sitting on 17 flares, so I should use it. Where's the other guy? Not great. This is fine. He can't run at me if there's something in the way. And that's the biggest threat from them, for me. Okay. That's fine. I guess we have to go deeper into the mine. No easy way out here. Thermos, I'll take that. I can see the exit from up here, but obviously I won't be able to go through it. No. Alright. Run faster, Mr. Wick. I keep wanting to call him Mr. Wick. <laughs> I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Okay. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Well, yes, evidently. Thank goodness for you that the machinery still works. Imagine if it didn't. Okay, and then I can climb this and bring that uh, platform up. How convenient indeed. Up we go. Uh, I guess this will make it a platform between the two and then I can jump it. Or I'll die horribly. Nope. Answer is die horribly. 
Okay. A little I'd have awkward. to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Yeah, but it's not giving me a good angle, so. Although, actually, I think I could have gone this way. Okay, fair enough. Because I could have dropped down and then went over there and then up the stairs. Instead of playing parkour. <laughs> this game is not designed for that, so. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the way this is designed. That's why it's giving me that angle. Got it. Whoopsie daisy. I tried to get a little too creative. Okay. And how am I supposed to get there from here? Oh, okay. Perfect. Time to get up. Or time to go down. And what does this do? Oh, it just makes a... I guess that's what I'm looking for. Okay. So I made a shortcut and then now I can cross. Sorry, just had to quickly check something. Alright. Hiya! Okay, I'm glad I cleared it, because having to climb back down again would have been a little awkward. Am I out of the out of the mine yet? I think this is out. More or less. Ha! Hell of a kick. Alright, we're back out. Um I guess I'm going up there, so let me check what's down here. Or no. Hmm. Let me go back up then. Because I'm sure there's going to be something to get from up here. Flares, okay. Probably going to get jumped by something too. Yep, back at 20. Lovely, lovely. Can you move faster, Mr. Wick? <laughs> I just called him Mr. Wick. Yeah. Where are we? Lightning flash behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. I think I've heard about that. Yeah. Uh, oh. What am I focusing on? Just a nice view? I guess so. Um, no, I think I heard about this story from In Control, actually. Something about her not being a, uh, not being a nurse? Or no, maybe it was another person. Like, it was, oh, they were, they were not a nurse when I did it, or something like that. But that might have been someone else, actually. Okay. I think we're almost clear. Oh, birds. No. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's one, one set. Are the other ones dead? I think they are. Nice. Good. <laughs> Let's hope this one doesn't fall out from under us again. I actually don't know where he's storing this rifle. He's clearly not shoving it down his pants, right? Uh-oh. Birds.
No, stop that. Okay. I think that's the last set of birds, so... Oh no, it's not. But they're not swinging at me anymore. Uh oh. What now? Of course, of course. Oh no, not now. I bet you just an achievement. It's gonna hurt. That's gonna suck. Alright, well. Well, we made it most of the way, I guess. Um, don't think there's anything to explore on this side, so I'm just gonna go up the only way. Whoa! Shit. Yeah, that was close. And I'm not sure where it even came from, but okay. Still making progress. Uh, I'm probably gonna get jumped here. It's a very open area. Oh yeah, I can see the fog. Of course. Okay. I've got flares. I've got flashbang grenade. Okay, one flashbang grenade. But I've got flare guns! Okay. Oh, I'm using my pistol. I didn't realize. Nope. Checkpoint, please. Pauldron Lake, of course. Thank you. What does this say? The eighth deepest lake in the world, Cauldron Lake, is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970, and even then, the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folktales. It is a popular recreational area for the area residents. Makes sense. That's the lake down there. I guess I could climb up this way and see if there's anything. Okay, come across the bridge. Please tell me we're almost there. Oh boy. What else are you going to throw at me? I see that coffee, coffee uh, thermos. Oh. So the guy behind me is trapped because of the flare, so I'm good. Oh, hey. Okay. I can deal with you, you're fine. Oh, ow. He didn't realize you were there. Put this down so he can't come out. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get this weapon ready. Nice. Good stuff. Thermos, please. It's over here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Time to keep a move on. I should probably reload. I already did that. I still have 11 shots of this and plenty of the other stuff. So I should be in the clear. Oh, treasure. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I think I'm actually full on flare gun ammo, yeah. Wow. Maybe I should use it more often. Manuscript. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. No, he wouldn't. All right. Am I going up here? I guess I am. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. I g oh, okay, I can push it. Fine. Nice. I feel like I could just climbed it without kicking it, but alright. Mr. Alan Wake is a very, very violent man, so we've already established that. Uh, up and around. Actually, not a door. Into the cellar? Oh boy. I can't actually climb back out, but I'm gonna assume that there's- uh oh. Tom. CN and TZ. You talk to me on TV. Tom. Tom. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Tom, 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 Tom. I curse you, Tom is Zane. Tom, Tom. Uh. This was probably uh, the lady. The. The black veiled lady. I don't remember her name right now, but. I saw something. I'm not even using a shotgun right now, but okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe get... Oh, boy. Oh, it's okay. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Have you considered a flashbang? Ow. Ow. Stop that. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm just gonna shoot a flare. Ow. Ow, stop that. We're good? We're good. I guess I should pick that up. Thank you. Okay, let's try that again without falling down. I wonder if I could have gotten away with that. I think I'm out of stamina, so maybe I should back up a little. Okay, go. Uh. Okay, still pretty tired. Moving on. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Okay. I wonder what we're gonna run into before we get there. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Indeed. Uh, which one is this? I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Oh no, I'm gonna get gaslit. Okay, I see how it is. Wait, Any? Are you? Wait. It hey, might I'm be. Here. I'm coming. Well, at least you know I'm actually here now. Oh, get away. oh that's not good.
Oh, that's not good. Oh, hello. Oh boy. The hell of a drop. Oof. Well, now you're just like where Alice went. Oh, someone was holding her! Was that the lady? I'm suddenly playing Bioshock again, apparently. I guess that's the end of the chapter. And now, more music to get a copyright strike at the end of every single chapter. So I'm going to have to talk over it, of course. Um, so in that case, I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today, and that you're doing well wherever you are. This has been Karst with Alan Wake Remake, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, thank you for watching. Bye bye <laughs>